Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie for those who don't know me and we're back with some more hot topic conversations, honey. The internet does not sleep and neither does the drama. Um, Speaking of the drama, guys, this is totally unrelated, but I just need to ask y'all if anybody has some answers, please let me know. My hair is being so dramatic. The locks that I just had in, the faux locks, I've had an allergic reaction to them. That's never happened to me before. I've been braiding my own hair since 14 years old and I've never, shout out to my mama for that, honestly, saved me a lot of money. I've never had an allergic reaction to hair. And to add insult to injury, when I had this um, ponytail, my, my birthday hair, it was the same hair that I used for the locks, yet for some reason, I had an allergic reaction. Like I would be up late at night scratching my head to the point where I even broke skin. It's bad, it's really bad. What should I do with the hair? I know some people were saying rinse with apple cider vinegar online. I don't know, I kept the hair because I bought it. That's a lot of money and my scalp is still itching. Please let me know what I'm supposed to do about that. But anyways, let's talk about the hot topics. Before I do, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. Also, I forgot to mention that I'm doing a compilation live of the funniest moments of 2023. If you guys can either comment on the last post on the community page or in the comment section in this video, what were your funniest moments? If you have a link that you can send me, that would be great. But either way, I could just go look it up anyways i want to put all that stuff together and we have one last live for the year now i do have some subtopics before i get to my main topics the first <laughs> this is not a laughing matter in terms of what brought on the conversation okay so it's been going around that um kim porter had a burner phone which was in the possession of cassie and she has turned it over to the authorities and on there there is some incriminating evidence incriminating evidence about one mr td jakes i feel like either way this is bad if he did those things that it's being alleged that he did is bad. If he didn't do those things that it's being alleged that he did, the things y'all have been posting on Twitter is bad. But have I been laughing? Guys, I've been, I have been in stitches laughing at the memes. <laughs> laughing at the memes of TD Jakes all week. Yo, I hope to God to never become viral and have it catch the phones of people who are chronically on black Twitter. Because I promise you those people know how to make a joke and they know how to make it stick for days. Y'all have been going in on TD Jakes for days and y'all don't even know if the allegations are true. Child, I can't post any of the tweets. I'm not, it, it, mm, I'm not gonna do it. I just wanted y'all to know that I've been laughing. The other subtopic that I wanted to talk about was this nine month cruise. People are saying it's a Caribbean cruise, but I'm Caribbean cruise, but I'm pretty sure it's a world cruise and it's being done in like segments. I think they're gonna have like a Europe portion, an Africa portion, a Caribbean portion. I don't know. Don't quote me on anything. But um, two things I wanna ask y'all would y'all ever? be on a cruise for more than two weeks. I even feel like in two weeks, I would be, I'd be losing my mind. Nine months consecutively? Even if you just did um, one of the segments of the tour, I, 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 I would lose my mind. I would lose my ever living mind. The second thing is, um, what is what people spending egregious amounts of money to fraternize with water? I know that we are made up of about, what, 80% water, but water terrifies me, okay? The things that live in the ocean, the water itself, how powerful it is, I'm not risking it. Did y'all not watch the Titanic? I didn't watch the Titanic, but I know how it ends. And it wasn't great for the people involved, okay? We don't even have to go that far. Ocean, ocean gate, ocean mist, ocean gate. 
the submarine or submersible. Y'all don't learn, do you? You spend these egregious amount of money to be in the water? Um, no, it could never be me. It really could never be me. But let's go on to the topics that I actually wanted to talk about. The first, we're not going to be here for long, but Beyonce is in Brazil. Or let me say was, because honey, she hopped off the plane and hopped back on. Um, as people know, she just had her world tour, but it wasn't necessarily a world tour. It was like a Europe, North America tour. She didn't go to any place outside of those continents. Yeah. So people in Brazil have really been begging her to come. We know the Brazilians love Beyonce, honey, love Beyonce. The fear in Beyonce's eyes. You could tell why she hasn't been there for 10 years. I was not able to come for the Renaissance tour, but I'm so happy to put the Renaissance film can be a part of the Renaissance because you are the Renaissance. It was very important for me to be here, right here in Bali. I don't know if it was just me, but I felt like you could see mama's trying to keep it cool, but she was scared. She was scared. <laughs> like the last time, I don't know if this was the last time, but I remember a time when she was in Brazil and that man tried to take her. And she was really gracious about it. After the fact, she said, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. He just got excited. Like, don't, don't do anything to him. Like, it's fine. But I would be scared for my life. I would. One thing about Brazilians, let me say one thing about the beehive in Brazil, okay? One thing about the beehive in Brazil, they love Beyonce. They put everybody else to shame when it comes to love for Beyonce. They love off Beyonce crazy. They were screaming at the top of their lungs. I'm like, do y'all even hear what she's saying? I'm not sure if the majority of people could understand what she was saying either way, but I'm like, no. The lady just hopped off the plane and said, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let me hop back on. But Beyonce, real talk, Brazil needs a tour. I feel like Brazil deserves it. The way Brazil loves Beyonce, I feel like if any place in the world deserves to see Beyonce in concert again, it would be Brazil. Truly, truly. So let's move on to the next conversation. Um... Okay, I'm gonna do the TikTok proposal before I talk about Simone Biles' husband, child, because we might sit there for a minute. So there has been this thing going around about a shut up ring. I actually wanted to talk about it on live the last time I was on live, but there was just so many other things to talk about. So I didn't get to speak on it. And now there is another video of a shut up ring, but the roles are reversed. Mm. Let me explain the one that I wanted to talk about and then we'll talk about this week's fiasco. So, um, there was this video going around about this couple who had been together for ages and they finally decided to get married, right? What had gone viral was the guy's vows and it was chopped up. Yes. But basically he was just saying, I can't wait to smack that ass every morning. And the officiant was like, please say something more. That's all you got. And he was like, yup. And you could tell people, I think the guy's name was Cody. People in the audience were saying, come on, Cody, like give us something else. So TikTok, people in the comments were like, oh, come on. This is just a part of the vows. Maybe he said more. What he said was worse. When they showed the hope, matter of fact, let me just play his vows. I'm Cody's ex from high school. <laughs> yes, you might think that's weird. I always thought it'd be difficult to find someone who would love me when I was in a million pieces. But when I say I wouldn't be more proud in the man, dad, and partner you are today, I mean it and I have fallen in love with you over and over again. Cody? I'll promise to smack that ass every chance I get. <laughs> oh, that's wow. all I got. <laughs> This is either going to be the most beautiful couple ever or we're all going out in the same bolt of lightning. Either way, Cody, please proceed. She's the brains of the operation, so. Okay. Cody, it's on the wrong hand. Yeah, so that's the yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, so let's try that again. Get back here. And may, maybe say something. Maybe, maybe say words. You say words now. I love you. 
promise to frustrate you all the time. Promise to frustrate you all the time. Good. <laughs> promise I'm not going to listen to you. I mean, I will listen. I, I got that backwards, didn't I? Is that it? Are you sure? I didn't write nothing down. That's what you're going out with? That's what I'm going right, with. Cool. It was worse. And to add insult to injuries, her vows were actually thoughtful. If they both had that sense of humor of like, oh, come on, we've been together forever. We know what it is. Just, just tell us to kiss. We'll sign the paper and we'll keep it pushing. No, hers were actually thoughtful. And nobody in the audience was laughing. The officiant tried to give him several chances to resurrect this abysmal performance. And then, because I almost forgot, it just came back in my mind. Why was his ex-girlfriend at the wedding? It's an ex-girlfriend from back when they were young, but they met when they were young. So that might be his only other girl. I know people can have amicable breakups and be friends and all that stuff. But with the way that he he was acting at this wedding, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't, I, I don't want your ex-girlfriend here. The wife seemed to be fine with it, so hey, you like it, I love it. But me? If those are your vows, and then now at the reception, your ex-girlfriend is making a speech? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Let me tell you something. That license is not getting submitted. Because I think you have up to a year to submit your license or it'll be um, nullified. I'm not turning it in. I'm just not turning it in. So anyways, um, recently a different shut up ring example. Oh, basically a shut up ring for explanation is, hey, we've been together for so long. Honestly, at this point, here's the ring so that you stop nagging me about it. Okay. A, a, a separate video had gone viral. Oh no, my laptop's going to die. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm not sure what I was explaining. Um, a shut up ring. Yeah, basically we've been together for a long time. Here's the ring, stop asking me about it, right? This time it's a woman who's proposing to the man. And it does sound like she's giving him a shut up ring. So most of y'all don't know, about a month ago, I came to his mama and his sisters and I asked him, would they get him to me? Mm. This is his daughter, she said yes. Yeah. Oh. His mom said yes. Uh -oh. His sister said yes. Oh. 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 It looks like he's happy. We don't see his face, but he's very obviously crying. Um she went and asked <laughs> i'm sorry i'm a traditional girly i will say that to kingdom come i don't care about these new modern this that whatever and the third i'm a traditional girl i believe this is me me if you want to do something different that's your business and honey i support you in all your endeavors me personally I'm not asking for no man's hand in marriage. I'm especially not asking for the blessing from the You're going to go ask my daddy. And even though I'm not in my daddy's house, <laughs> you're going to ask that man. And he's going to give you the green light. God willing, he's still with us. You know what I mean? Ah, ha, ha. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. It does seem like they're happy. You know, she went to everybody in the family, said, hey, can I have his hand in marriage? They all agreed. She went on her knee. Whew, child. She went on her knee. To propose to this man. I think that's also the part that makes me like, huh, is when the girls get on their knee. I said, get up, girl, get Get up, get up. Like, I just be, but anyways. Um, I can't really tell fully if this is a shut up ring, but I know that's a conversation that's been going on. Okay, I think 
what would be the reason why people are calling it a shut up ring is because um, they likely have been together for a long time. I don't know the story. And instead of her waiting to get the ring from him, she just decided to do the proposing so that they can just be married. Did you guys ever watch um, one, Love and Hip Hop, but two, the, the spinoff with Chrissy Lampkin and um, what's that man's name? Who is Chrissy's husband? Oh gosh, hold on guys, I gotta Google it. I gotta Google it. Jim Jones. Jim Jones. I don't even know if they are married to this day. I don't know if they ever got married. I'm not sure. But I remember watching Love and Hip Hop when they first came out. I was young. And even back then, I was like, something about this is not right. You're gonna ask this man to marry you in front of a room of his friends, family, your friends, family. <laughs> My little hands were shaking. And then as the words started to flow out, it's like, I tuned out. For years, she would ask to be married and he would not propose. It's so funny how I did watch season two of Love and Hip Hop New York where Jim Jones actually did propose, yet for some reason I don't remember it whatsoever. But let me amend, he did end up proposing. But I also found this clip, which I didn't know of. I'm sure this is old news by now. You guys are probably like, girl, move on. This is the past. Um, Chrissy ended up not even wanting to be married to the man at all. Apparently after 18 years together, Chrissy revealed she no longer wants to marry Jim and the fans are shook. Here's all the tea we have so far, so you know. A recent clip from an early look at VH1's family reunion Love and Hip Hop Edition season three seems to be shaking things up in these internet streets. In the clip, longtime couple Christy Lampkin and Jim Jones are seen together talking about the state of their relationship when Jim brings up marriage and Chrissy seemingly drops the bomb that she doesn't want to get married anymore. This is particularly shocking news for most fans, but especially those who have been tuned into the romantic ups and downs that Chrissy and Jim have put on public display over the years. I've said in other videos before that I feel like marriage is not for everyone. I even though I'm a, I'm a traditional person, I don't think that marriage is um, for everyone. But if you're with somebody and you know that marriage is important to them, or if you are the person who knows marriage is important to you, at some point you gotta look at the situation and say, okay, now wait, hold on. Is this even leading in that direction? Because if it's not, let me cut my losses and go find somebody who's on the same wavelength that I am. And I know it's easier said than done because when you love somebody, you love somebody. That's not something that you could just shut off like that. But then you get situations like the lady I was just talking about before and the man can't even give you well thought out vows. He's just like, nah, I just want to slap that ass every morning, which he was already doing. Like what? I <sighs> Anyways, I just feel like sometimes we don't got to embarrass ourselves because guess who's going to do it anyways? Men. Here's why. Have y'all seen the Simone Biles? See, I don't even know this man's name. What's his name? Jonathan. Simone Biles' husband, which is how I know him. That's how I know him. I don't know if y'all knew him before he was with Simone, but that's how I know him. They went on a podcast, the two of them, Simone was there. And this man, I'm even in shock, like I don't have words. I feel like this was so unnecessary. Child, I'm embarrassed for Simone Biles and I don't even know the woman, embarrassed. So you was really the catch in I always say we the men are catch, man. I always say we the catch. Oh, shut yeah, up. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did, though. She is did, what you though. said. Cause I, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you, fighting it. So in truth, if I say this out loud, well, Jonathan Owens ain't really want Simone Biles. Is at, what you're saying. <laughs> at the time. <laughs> That's what you're not going to say. That's that what you're saying. I was afraid. I, I was afraid to commit. I'm like, ah, I'm, man, this is, my, this is my third year. You know, I'm trying to, ah. So Simone Biles' husband sits down with Pivot and he discusses how he met his wife. And essentially he's explaining that they had met on Tinder and then they followed each other on Instagram and he really didn't know who she was. 
and that she would travel 45 minutes to come see him. She came to him. And then you heard in the remark of the earlier clip that he said that he thinks that all men are the catch. So basically women are the ones who are basically doing all the work to get men. Child, let's get to the comments. Now somebody by the name of I Heart Hat says, even the interviewer know he lying. I know he was lying. We know he was lying. Come on, man. Now somebody else stated, this is cringe and embarrassing to be honest. He shouldn't have disclosed all that. Literally, he could have kept a lot of that interview to himself. Now somebody else pointed out Simone Biles kind of like cringe face every time he spoke. And yeah, I, I felt I felt every eye roll. I literally felt all of them. Somebody by the name of Nisi Dash said, this teaches me, even at my age, when you are a great woman, men, no matter what the status, will always try their hardest to humble you. Give a man a mic and watch him embarrass you. Baby, that, that interview was an embarrassment. I mean, you can watch the whole thing on the pivot, but embarrassing. Somebody said, light-skinned men stay lying. <laughs> Somebody else pointed out that she messaged him first, because remember they met on Tinder, and then said, and the egg don't swim to the sperm. And she drove 45 minutes to him. And this on TV saying this. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is on TV saying this. And still, I can't get past the 45 minutes driving to a man. I, uh, I don't know, honey. I don't know. What is that? But yeah, low key, bro was dragging his wife. While she right there is crazy work. The work. <laughs> the work is crazy now somebody pointed out a really good question they said why would he say this this is not a love story at all is he even interested in her now you guys know that there's a theory that says that men have to love you more in order for the relationship to last and if he thinks that he's the catch then that means that he i don't know like i feel like he feels as though she loves him more like, does that even work? Now, the news has been crazy all week, but I got to be honest with you, because I agree. This is probably the craziest thing I've seen all week. Um, She said something that I wanted to touch on, which wasn't even on my mind to talk about. You know how there is that conversation of a man has to love a woman more? And I know that when guys hear it, they're like, ah, oh, no, 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 um, I agree. To an extent... To an extent, I don't think that in relationships, there should be a literal scale of no, you are at this level. Therefore, I must be down here to make sure that the dynamic work. No, I don't believe that. But um, like I said earlier, I'm a traditional girl. I'm also a Christian. The Bible, there's a reason. There's a reason why it says women are called to respect their husbands while men are called to love. When it comes to pursuit, Personally, I feel like that is up to the guy. I'm so sorry. I do think that a woman can let her interests be known, especially in this day and age when you don't know, is this person flirting with me? Are they just being friendly? Are, I don't know what the vibe is. Guys have been um, rejected in crazy ways. So I understand the hesitation sometimes in wanting to put yourself out there. Um, but I feel like for the most part, the pursuit is supposed to be on the man, me. Me personally, this ain't gotta be you. I gotta make the clarification because sometimes people say, but I don't want, that's fine. That's fine. I'm talking about me, okay? She would drive 45 minutes all the time to see him. I, unfortunately, have been there. And I did it to myself because in that situation, the guy wanted to come to me. But my thing is, I don't ever wanna be in a situation where somebody's in my space and I don't have the, the, um, how do, how do I say this? Now the onus is on me to protect my space. Like if I feel uncomfortable, I can't leave because this is where I'm at. You're in my space. How do I get you out of here? So that it resorted to me going to where he was, but then that became a theme. That became a theme. And then this man would just use and abuse the whole like, you come to me, you do this for me, you whatever, whatever. And I had gotten to a point, I think I had only done it, I think I did it twice. And I realized, uh, 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 uh what is going on? And the reason why I'm saying that he would abuse it is because it would come up in conversations like, why don't you do this for me? Why don't you do that for me? When did I become the pursuer? Why am I courting you? Like, I don't understand. I really don't understand this. The one time I had said, like, let's meet up in the middle, it seemed like he had a cow about it. And that's when I realized, oh, that I'm done. I can't, 
I can't do this anymore. And that's just traveling. She messaged him first, which is fine. It's normal on dating apps. There's literally Bumble for that reason. Um, so women can be the ones to message first. But for him to be like, oh, I didn't even know who she was. I'm the catch. She begged me. She had to. He also said he didn't know who she was, but then was intrigued once he went on her social media and saw that she had a great following. It's giving opportunistic. And it's so sad because I feel like Simone deserves the world. I don't know that woman. I don't know who she is on a day-to-day -day basis. But the persona that I see her having, I feel like she deserves the world. How do you not know the most decorated gymnast known to me? I don't know if there are other <laughs> ones who got uh, more accolades than she does. But in my world, she is the most decorated gymnast ever. I'm not even into sports, let alone the Olympics, the gym, all that stuff. You're telling me as an athlete, you did not know who, as an athlete, you did not know who Simone Biles was. And even if you didn't know who she was, after you preed her social media, you gonna act like you didn't realize, oh, she's a big deal. We literally call you Simone Biles' husband. Jonathan, who are you? Who are you? Who are you to go on a public platform and embarrass this woman like this? I felt like this should have been kept in the vault. If this was their story, fine. There is a way to say it without making it seem like, oh, she begged me. Look at me. I'm the prize. When the internet is talking about the sassy man apocalypse, it's, it's men like this. I almost said a different word. It's men like this. Uh-uh. And she was in the room. I would be dying inside. Not because he's sharing our story, but because he's framing it in a way of like, I should be happy that he so graced me with his presence. I should be honored that he gave me an opportunity. Blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. I fear men who try to humble women. I do. I do. Because why are you trying to put me in my place? Why are you trying to show me? Just remember, I'm the prize. Just remember, you should be lucky to have me. Just remember. I Personally, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And it seems like Simone can't catch a friggin' break. I know people were very critical of her with her um her last partner, the guy with the with the big hair. I was sad when they broke up, man. I really was. I didn't know anything about them, but I just thought they were cute. Then she got with this guy and people were criticizing her at the wedding because she didn't um she didn't have her hair laid basically. Like how dare you look natural on your wedding day? Um that's her business. That's her business. But it does kind of feed into this like trope of athletes being with the baddie or whatever, because now look at him. She should be lucky to be with me. Maybe that's a part of his perspective too. Maybe he thinks that regularly he would bag a baddie. And let's be honest, Simone doesn't match the aesthetic that you would typ typically think of when you see an athlete and their partner. She's still a gorgeous woman. She just doesn't match the archetype that we typically see. At this point, I'm rambling, but all I just wanted to say was fear men. <laughs> fear men. More specifically, men who seek out to humble women. I saw a tweet that said um, Stedman, Kerry Washington's husband, and they had said somebody else who I don't remember, but I'm gonna include Issa's husband, need to um, create a course. And I agree. When I tell you we do not hear from those men, oh, they said Dolly Parton's husband. We do not hear from those men. But we be seeing them posted up, loving up on each other. There very well could be fire at home. Things could be exploding, but we don't know that. And that's the kind of marriage I want. You don't got to put all my business out there on Fresh Street, honey. Do we know everything's all right at home? And even if it's not, 
we're going to present as a united front. That's all I need to know. These new age, let me tell you all the nitty gritty stuff about how I used to dog her and she stayed around. Oh, hell no. I don't want no part of it. I don't want no part of it at all. What did you guys think when you saw the Simone Biles situation? I feel for the girl. The most decorated. Actually, no, let me look it up. Is Simone, Simone Biles, um, stats? Is that how I would find out? With 30 medals, Simone Biles is the most decorated gymnast in the World Championships history. History. In hist... You're telling me you did not know that she was the most decorated gymnast in history? Man, just shut up talking. I feel so sad for my girl. I mean, she don't know me. My pity means nothing to her. If she loves that man, she loves that man. I hope he treats you right, girl. I hope that this is y'all's banter. I hope that you are okay with everything he's... I hope that you gave him the green light. I hope that when y'all rode uh, back home, you were like, oh, good job, baby. I hope to God that was the case. Because if it were me, I would be so embarrassed. I'm even trying to think, like, what would be a better way? You know what? We met online. She did hit me up first. And it was bliss ever since. Listen, let's keep it simple. It was bliss ever since. Or fine, if you want to say that she did a little bit of the pursuing, um, she really made her intentions known with me. And I respected that. And from then, I was like, I need to know more about this woman. I didn't dog nobody out. We didn't have to expose the nitty gritty details. Just leave stuff to mystery. There was that one Sierra clip. Was it Sierra? Or was it Beyonce? I think it was Beyonce. Anyways, one of them said, I've been taught to keep my relationship private and that's what I'm trying to do. Even it was Beyonce. It was Beyonce and Oprah was asking her about her relationship. And she was like, mm -mm, I'm not giving you too much. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. And there's a plethora of reasons why. There is so much, what can I say? Benefit from not exposing every nitty gritty detail. Number one, the internet, nor the people in your life forget. They don't forget. They might forget momentarily, but when Ish hits the fan later down the line, they'll bring this back up. When you have gotten over being upset with your partner, they're gonna remember the times that they hurt you. They're gonna remember all the negatives and they're gonna start to build a case against your partner saying, we don't like this person and you're like, why don't you like them? Because of all this bad stuff that you constantly want to share about your relationship. Unless, obviously, there is abuse involved. If you feel like, mm, we were just having a bad day, genuinely, it was just a bad day, decide whether or not it is important to share and just know your family and or the internet, if you choose to take your business on the internet, is going to remember that and keep a tally. That's what's going to happen. In a lot of cases, I mean, not to say just because you're quiet about your marriage, it means that you're happy. That's not the case at all. But there is a bit more peace when there isn't this constant, and let me tell you what they did wrong. And let me tell you how they pissed me off. And let me tell you, the, and let me tell you, and let me tell you, let me tell you. Because when you reconcile, we don't reconcile. Y'all did. Even when y'all are on good terms, now we're like, but didn't he? And you're like, yeah, he did. Or no, girl, now you fighting with your friends. Because, child, separate conversation. Anyways, um, Jonathan, shut up. Simone, check me. Check me. 
And to all the people who act like they're not concerned about Simone, I hope y'all are not the people who made fun of her on her wedding day because y'all were so evil for that. So evil for that. I don't know when it became this thing to make sure that women, uh, women, more specifically black women, are always on their P's and Q's. They always need to look like an Instagram baddie, hair laid, body snatch, all this stuff. Since when was that the expectation? Leave that woman alone. She liked the way that she looked. That's how she wanted to show up on her wedding day. That's her business. Did you pay for the wedding? No. So mind your business. Let me go. I said I would do a few more videos and um, I don't think anything can come out because people should be, you know, celebrating the holidays or at least just enjoying their time off. But um, if there are more stories, you know, I will come back and talk about it. But until then, as always, like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.